I'm tired of my T56, and here's why. I'm just kidding. I probably did get you though. Um, this transmission has been very good. Um, the reason why I've got the box and the transmission sitting on the tailgate today um, is last year I uh, blew the clutch out of the truck on Tail the Dragon. Uh, kind of a long story. Didn't have some of the correct parts and uh, some some stuff. Let's just say it like that. Um, at the same time, I ended up going through the uh, master cylinder and the slave cylinder, and it was kind of just a gigantic mess, but we got that all sorted. However, since that time, this truck has not had reverse. Um, I'm able to get it in reverse by putting it in reverse before I start the truck, letting out about halfway through the clutch, um, and then just trying to start it. So I've killed the starter doing it. Uh, not really a big deal. They're not too expensive on these LS motors. But uh, it's really annoying, um, especially it's really annoying considering how expensive this transition was and the fact that uh, probably right now it's got either seven or 8,000 miles on it. It's pretty much nothing. Prior to me blowing out that clutch, everything was fine. So it was really confusing to me why um, we ended up running into an issue where we didn't have any clutch. It would go through all the other gears. When it was in reverse, it didn't like hop out. So um, the running theory as of right now is that, the, uh, is that the synchronizer is probably going out of the clutch itself. So we're trying to figure out exactly what it is. But in the meantime, I have to take the transmission out and ship it back to the company I bought it from. So um, that's what you're about to see. I've actually already done it. The transmission is already in this box, already packed up, ready to go. Um, the truck's coming tomorrow to pick it up. And uh, hopefully we get to the root cause of why I don't have reverse in this transmission. Because to be honest, it's baffling me. Um, it's not the reverse shutout. Um, I've wired that twice, verified its operation. You can feel it working. Um, I've pretty much went through everything. I've tried double clutching. I've tried doing the old uh, T45 trick, throwing it into fifth, going into reverse, nothing. So to me, there's something physically wrong with the trans. Uh, when I drained the fluid out of it, um, everything looked normal. Um, there was a little bit of metallic color, but I mean, again, as 7,000 miles, it's gonna have that. Um, I didn't see anything else going on with it. I didn't see, didn't see any big chunks of metal come out. Um, I did check the, the drain pan afterwards, nothing. Um, outside of that, I also went ahead and uh, just put it in gear, rotated the input shaft by hand, um, and again, no clunks, nothing. Everything feels good. Um, I checked the input shaft, nice and tight. Uh, really no underlying, essentially really anything of any issues with the transmission itself, um, at least from what I can tell. So we're gonna send it into the pros. These transmissions are expensive, so I'd like it to actually function. I'd really like to have reverse. Uh, it was nice when I got reverse eventually working in this truck, as when I first put this transmission in, I actually had a bad slave cylinder. So um, that was a huge thing to go through and figure out and bench bleed and over and over and over again. But I know it's not like that this time because at that time I also didn't have first gear because it wasn't engaging the clutch enough. I know for a fact I have enough clutch engagement here no matter what, like a guaranteed no matter what we have enough clutch engagement for sure. So it's not that. The only other thing it could be is something in the trans. So we're gonna send it into Tremec. We're gonna see what they think the problem is and then we're gonna go from there. So regardless, um, if it's a warranty situation or it's a pay situation, I'm probably going to get reverse back. That's the goal, but who knows? But uh, now we'll cut away to some footage of me shooting, taking this transmission out. Thankfully, it only took me about an hour um, because I was able to leave the bell housing on and uh, do a bunch of the other fun stuff there. So um, should be a quick one, nice and simple and easy, but the truck is out of commission probably for the next month, maybe month and a half, until we get this transmission back and in working order. So let's cut away to that footage now. What is going on tonight, guys? So tonight we actually have, uh, unfortunately, lights fading a little bit, but we're gonna hopefully get it done. 
I need to pull the, the T56 out of my truck because we are going to be getting it warrantied. Um, it, the, it looks like the reverse synchro went out of it and that's, we've done some testing back and forth. It seems, it seems to be the case. So we need to go ahead and slam this out of the truck. Thankfully, it's not too bad. I don't have to remove the bell housing. Um, I can do a lot of more simple things uh, to get this all taken care of and wrapped up. But um, we need to get this out tonight. It's finally like the first day where it's not 90 degrees outside. Um, unfortunately, the garage is still wrapped up. Let's just put it that way because I think I'm going to post some uh, videos uh, before I get the garage where I need it to be uh, first. So, without further ado, we're going to jack up the back end of the truck. We're going to get uh, cracking on this and hopefully have it out fairly quickly. I've had this trans out before in like 40 minutes. Uh, that would be the goal. What you end up having to do is I have to end up taking the shifter off, uh, take the exhaust off, as well as take the cross member out. If I can do all three of those things, it should just come right out. So, I'm going to go ahead and get set up, and then we're going to start working on that and hopefully get this thing out real quick.
Okay. Overall? Not too bad. Sorry, it's a little dark out. But uh, we've got the trans out, so I'm just cleaning up a couple things on the truck. And uh, yeah, that'll do it. So um, I'm going to wrap this one because we're not going to get the trans back for probably at least a month. So we're going to we're going to go ahead and call it there. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens when we get it back. They're going to figure out what exactly is wrong with the reverse right now. What it'll do is it'll uh, it'll grind uh, and it won't go into the reverse when the trucks on. Um, I can't like double clutch. I can't do literally anything. I have to essentially start the truck in reverse as of now um, to be able to get it to go in reverse at all. So, um, and then sometimes also when it's fully in reverse, if I have the clutch totally depressed, it will uh, continuously, it still won't go into gear. So we're gonna send it in. Um, I was just playing with the input shaft. It's super tight, uh, no issues whatsoever. This trans has like, I think like 7,000 miles on it. So I think it's uh, gonna end up being something funky. I've always had a leak from the back end. I thought originally uh, the, the shifter, oh, and it looks like the shifter came loose again. That's good. So looks like that that's probably another cause of the leak, but we'll figure that out. Um, thankfully, that's not really that important, but uh, we'll get it squared away. So we will come back to the truck when we get the trans back. Um, they told me it's about typically two to three weeks uh, to get through everything and figure out exactly what's wrong. And then they'll ship it back and then we'll throw it back in the truck. So we're going to call it there for tonight. So uh, thanks for joining us. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you guys soon.